in this session we are going to discuss about change of states there are three states for matter solids liquids and gas now we are going to discuss about interconversion of this states means if solid is changing into liquid what is going to happen inside the matter and when the liquid is converting into gas what is going to happen inside the matter we are going to cover these topics in this session what do you mean by change of state change of state mean the conversion of one state to the other state means solid is converting into liquid for example ice cubes when we are taking ice cube in our hand it is going to convert into water back right it is known as change of state matter can change its state if we are giving suitable conditions matter can change its state solid to liquids solids to gas liquid to gas liquid to solid gas to liquid gas to solid matter can change its state from one state to the another state these are the examples of change of state matter can convert its state from solid to liquid solid to gas liquid to gas liquid to solid gas to liquid gas to solid any change is possible we need to give suitable conditions now we are going to discuss about melting and change in temperature what is the relation between melting and changing temperature what do you mean by melting melting is the process of conversion of solid into liquid we are considering a solid here and when we are heating when we are applying heat it will be converting into liquid this process is known as melting for example if you are considering a solid the temperature will be atmospheric temperature if you are taking atmospheric temperature is 27 degrees celsius the temperature of the solid will be 27 degrees celsius right and we are heating when we are heating the temperature of solid will increase 28 29 30 35 at 35 degrees celsius if the solid is converting into liquid that temperature is known as melting point the temperature of a solid in which it can convert into liquid that temperature is known as melting point effect of temperature we are taking a solid and we are burning it when we are burning it is going to convert the state right it is going to convert into liquid form when we are heating the solid will convert into liquid this process is known as melting on heating solid will converts into liquid this process is known as melting the process of conversion of solid into liquid at a particular temperature and normal atmospheric pressure is known as melting this temperature is known as melting point that particular temperature is melting point for ice cube the melting point is 0 degree celsius at 0 degree celsius it will convert into liquid water we are taking a solid we know that solids are the particles of solids are closely packed we can see here all the particles are closely packed right and all the particles are very close to each other and they are not able to move they can vibrate at their mean position it is a position they can vibrate it when we are heating this solid it is going to vibrate now all particles are vibrating if we are continuing heating it will convert into liquid now all particles are having kinetic energy and it is converting into liquid this process is known as melting what is the reason for melting when we are heating each particle is getting kinetic energy and now they are free to move then the solid change into liquid on increasing temperature of solid the kinetic energy of the particles increases due to increase in kinetic energy the particle starts vibrating with greater speed the particles the particles leave their fixed position and start moving more freely the energy supplied by the heat overcomes the force of attraction between the particles then if the attraction force if if they are overcoming the attraction attraction force between the particle now they are free to move a stage is reached when the solid melts and is converted to a liquid we are considering two solid it is made up of particle or matter is made up of particle and in solid the particles are very closely packed the attractive force between the particles are very high and the intermolecular distances are very short there is no space between this solid particle and the particles are not able to move melting point of this solid is 56 degrees celsius melting point of this solid is 
100 degree celsius what do you mean by this statement there are two solids the melting point of this solid is 56 degree celsius melting point of this solid is 100 degree celsius at 56 degree celsius this solid is going to convert into liquid at 100 degree celsius this solid is going to convert into liquid means this solid is required more energy to convert into liquid the strong attractive force right it indicating the strong attractive force in second solid the attractive force between the particles are very high that's the reason we need to apply more temp we need to apply more heat it need to acquire more temperature compared to the first solid it is 100 degree celsius it is more than 56 right this solid is having more melting point means the force of attraction between the particles is more in second solid the melting point of a solid is indication of the strength of force of attraction between the particles in solid if we are getting the melting point we can say something about the attractive force between the particle if the melting point of a solid is 100 degree celsius the attractive force is very strong if the melting point of a solid is 10 degree celsius the attractive force is very weak subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com